Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 31, verses 9 to 10 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am in distress. Tears blur my eyes. My body and soul are withering away. I am dying from grief. My years are shortened by sadness. Sin has drained my strength, and I am wasting away from within. Family, that's quite a morbid portion of scripture right there, but I believe the key to what David is speaking about in this portion of scripture lies in the second half of verse 10, where it says there, sin has drained my strength. I am wasting away from within. You see, family, that is what sin does in our lives, is it it can literally destroy us. It causes us to waste away from within. It causes us to wither away, it causes us to die from grief and have sadness and all these kinds of things. You see, family, when we sin in the in the moment, it might feel good, it might feel great, it might feel like a good thing, but the th- fact of the matter is at the end of the day, after we've committed that sin, regret sets in. And this is a wonderful opportunity when we've sinned for the devil to be able to now come in and put condemnation on us, to make us feel condemned, like we're no longer worthy of God, like we're no longer worthy of heaven, like we're no longer worthy of the call of God on our lives. And family, I want to say this, that that is a lie from the pits of hell. That is exactly what the devil wants for you to feel, is that you're no longer worthy, that you must run away from God and all these kinds of things, because he knows that if he can get you to feel that way, if he can get you to believe that, that you are going to separate yourself from God, and then at the end of the day, he's one because you'll step out of God's plan for your life. You'll step out of God's will and you won't be able to accomplish what God has said for you to accomplish in this life. Family, the beautiful thing is that there's a difference between condemnation and conviction. You see, family, the devil condemns us, but the Holy Spirit convicts us. And we must never confuse the two, family. We must never feel that the conviction is a form of condemnation. The conviction is the Holy Spirit saying, listen, you've sinned. It's okay. God still loves you. Return to God, repent, and go forward in his love, family. That is the beautiful thing about the Holy Spirit is he's trying to usher us back to God. But if we continue to sit with the sin, if we continue to allow the devil to condemn us, at the end of the day, family, we're going to end up exactly what, where David is here, where he's saying that that he is in distress. Tears blur his eyes. His body is withering away. His years are shortened by sadness. Sin has drained his strength and he is wasting away from within. Family, that is literally what sin does to us. That is literally what condemnation does to us. That is literally what separation from God does to us is it makes us feel this way. It it burdens us. It saddens us. It weighs us down. It robs us of our strength. It robs us of our joy and all these kinds of things, family. So I want to encourage you, whenever you sin, do not allow the devil to condemn you, family. Allow the Holy Spirit to usher you and guide you through his conviction to get back into the Lord. Be quick to repent, family. Whenever you've sinned and you know you've sinned, stop and turn to the Lord and say, Lord, I've sinned. Please forgive me. And the Bible says that if we ask him, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of any and all unrighteousness. Now, family, this doesn't mean that we can just go on living a sinful life and just be like, okay, well, it's okay. God's merciful. God's gracious. And he'll just forgive me. I'm just going to continue doing this. No, family. You see, that is where the, the conviction of the Holy Spirit comes because the Holy Spirit is there to lead us and guide us onto the perfect plan, will, and purpose that God has for our lives. And that includes turning away from sin and walking a life that is holy and righteous before the Lord family. And we must follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We must follow the ushering of the Holy Spirit. We must never abuse the blood of Jesus. We must never abuse the grace of God, but we must just know that it's there as a safety net, that if we slip, if we fall, his grace is there to catch us. His love is there to help us and guide us back onto the path and into right standing with God so that we can continue forward. Because the Lord knows that If there was no grace, if there's no forgiveness, if there's no love, at the end of the day, we would all be separated from God and we would not be walking on his plan, will, and purpose. But he loves us so much that he sent his one and only son to die for us so that through him we may be forgiven of our sins. So, And as a result of that, we can walk in fellowship with God and we can walk down the perfect plan, will, and purpose that God has for our lives. So I want to encourage you going forward, family. Never allow sin to separate you from God. Never allow sin to get you to this place where David is speaking about here. But instead, when you sin, be quick to repent, return to the Lord and ask him by his grace 
through his Holy Spirit living within you to give you the strength to be able to turn your back on that sin, to be able to resist the temptation to, so that you can walk forward in fellowship with God and in his perfect plan, will and purpose for your life. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your goodness, your grace, your mercy, and your love. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that when we sin, Lord, we know that we can come to you and ask for forgiveness, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that as we ask, you grant it to us, Lord. You restore us to right standing with you, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, that you help each and every one of us, Lord, to be quick to return to you when we sin, Lord, to not allow it to weigh us down, Lord, to not look back at that sin, Lord. Help us, Lord through your Holy Spirit living within us, by your grace, Lord, to be able to resist the temptation, to be able to turn our backs on that sin, Lord, so that we can walk forward with you down the perfect plan, will, purpose, and path that you have for our lives. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're busy doing and accomplishing in us and through us as we continue to walk in your forgiveness. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.